enjoy trash picking so much that I will actually take your trash bags. And that is exactly what I'm going to do in today's trash picking adventure. So Taco Sex and I are on our way back from the clean out and this is actually, ooh, a light bright. This is the house that I found the, the gift cards at and they have, they're I guess putting out more stuff. Ooh, these, I love these. Wait. Um, they've been putting out stuff infrequently, like nothing that I would actually take. These look like vintage. Oh, I thought it was the line from um, uh, Robin, uh, Robin Hood. Nothing that I would take. It's a lot of like bigger furniture that they've had out, but definitely take that light bright. Uh, what's this? Slide projector? Can you sell that? There's a light, a light bright. Are those all cracked? That one's good. <sighs> Vintage stuffed animals. Huh? That one's nice. So it seems like they like put out stuff here and there. That Easter basket. Someone ripped this. Oh, we have Cabbage Patch and Pound Puppy. Oh, take this bag. What's in here? Oh, oh no, what a shame. Oh, there's a nativity. Oh, this is this like spaghetti Santa. Oh, that, oh no. Is that a Christmas tree that broke? Well, we'll grab that. That's awful, what a shame. There's a Hess bag. Ooh, there is a thing for Cabbage Patch diapers. Uh, that's trash, trash. That's a nice Hess box. Oh my gosh, is that? Yeah. Is that another bag of vintage toys? The Snoopy? Oh my gosh, it's um, what's his face? Oh, yeah. The beer guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spuds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's windy. I wonder if I should just grab this one. Yeah, may as well. We have bags. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's a little pack on a pennant. That's where I went to elementary school. Oh, this is exciting. What else they got in this bag? More boxes? Do you need boxes? We got bags, folks. Is this more? Oh my gosh, it's more stuffed animals? I don't know. No. What's this? Oh, it's the Cabbage Patch Kids show pony? Oh, are you in here? I don't know. We're gonna just take this one too. What's this? Oh my gosh, Christmas lamp? Holy moly, it's a bag of light bulbs. Can you sell these? Okay, grab that. Well, look at that side. Oh my gosh, it's falling. This is great. No. Alrighty, thank you trash bags. I can't believe this, they threw this out. This is awesome. That was a quick trash pick. Taco Stacks and I were coming back from the house pick slash clean out and my mother let me know that there were trash bags out at this home that I have trash picked before. I trash picked this house maybe a few months ago and that is where I found I think about $50 in Boscov's gift cards and then a gift card that enabled me to have a nice steak dinner. Yes, they threw out actual gift cards with money still on them in the trash. Their trash has been very sporadic though. One week they'll have nothing out, the next week nothing out, the week after that they'll have a trash can 
with bags in the can and then like a bag sitting on top. Now I do have to draw the line in trash picking. I will not physically go into someone's trash can. Wouldn't that be a sight? Um, unless I guess, you know, there are just an assortment of bags and things out by it to kind of signify that, hey, this could be a clean out, you know, they could be moving, etc. But just to go into someone's trash can and take out a trash bag, I mean, I could, that would take, that would take hours. <laughs> and I'd probably end up in jail. Um, so when I would go by the house and see if they just had their trash can out, I really wouldn't stop. Other times when they had bags out, I did look and it was actual garbage. But uh, this time, no, it was not. Uh, Taco Stacks took one of the fancy, we'll call them an urn, you know, a plant, planter. Uh, the other, there were three there. The one in the middle was not broken, so he took that. There was a bench. There were all sorts of things, including trash bags filled. And what were they filled at? Well, looks like Christmas and stuffed animals but hopefully not just any stuffed animals but 1980s stuffed animals and when i see those in the trash you know that they're coming home with me so for today's trash picking adventure i'm actually going to be splitting the bag reveals up into two different videos yes i know most of you could watch me and you know reveal the four or five bags of trash i took in one video but i like to build suspense i want you coming back for more so we are going to start off with the stuffed animal trash bags now i only um in the trash bags themselves i recall two items the spuds mckenzie stuffed plush and then a cabbage patch doll gotta save the cabbage patch so we're going to start off with the bag that had spud mckenzie my usual gloves are in the wash, so we are going to put on my old pair of kitchen gloves. <laughs> now, thinking back to Spud, Spuds, Spud McKenzie, it is kind of funny to think that a cigarette company, was he for cigarettes or was he for beer? He was for alcohol, right? But yeah, an alcohol company would make a plush for children. But I guess back then it just, it was, I don't know. So yes, yeah, so we have good old Spud. Um, he does not have his tag on him. You know, would kids today recognize Spud McKenzie? Probably not. What beer was he for? Was it, for, it wasn't Miller, was it? I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, they, they most likely would just see this dog and be like, oh, he's, he's fun. So he saved Spud from the trash. I did already look up the value on him and there is none. So he will go to the flea market because maybe someone will want to um, think back of, you know, think back to their childhood and the dog that promoted drinking. <laughs> we have him. And I am breaking one of my cardinal rules by opening trash bags in my place. The problem is it is freezing out here because the weather does not know what it wants to do and it's very windy. So it's inside we go. Luckily, because I've picked trash from this house before, I know that they are clean. And uh, the bags have been sitting outside for a little over a day, so. Oh, we have a Christmas, oh, poor guy. What's this say on it? SC. Scrunchy? It is scrunchy. He is made by the a and Novelty Toys, um, made in Taiwan, of the Republic of China. So we know that that's all, but this is scrunchy. <laughs> He's been scrunched, poor guy. Oh, this looks like a big one. What the heck? He must talk. Oh my gosh, he does. Registered by Axelon. A Patricia Townsend design, 1985. Oh my gosh, his mouth moves, I think. It's like a grandpa bear. Let me look this guy up. I mean, even these are clean. They don't smell. He looks like a grandpa bear telling stories. So, oh my gosh. Can you imagine if there was a My Pet Monster in the trash bag? Oh my gosh. Patricia Town. 
it is um, Ag Axon. This is oh, this is a grandma, Grandma Bear. She must talk. HTF, hard to find. Well, we found one in the trash. <laughs> oh, she's no. This looks more like a grandpa. I think it is. It's got to be the grandpa. There it is. No, mine doesn't have a hat. There's all sorts of varieties on here. Mouth moves when talking. Oh, couldn't find much on it, but it tries to repeat your sounds while moving its mouth. So it's like one of those. It's not like, you know, a talking one, but saved that guy from the garbage. All right, we're going rogue. Oh, I did remember. Okay, I did remember seeing this. This is a saddle for a Cabbage Patch Kids show pony. Let's hope the pony's in here. We have this, this sad girl. Hand, handmade with her hair. That's how my hair looks in the morning. Ah, oh, creepy, this is like a brick inside. <laughs> creepy clown. A doll, this is a doll. Hall, oh, look at her hair. She is marked, uh, oh, she's an ideal toy, 1978. What's this guy? At. Oh, why does this look familiar? This is from the BJ. Oh, it's from the BJ Toy Company in Penargel. I found some of these at, at Goodwill. I want to say, I thought he had like a hat on. Pound Puppy. Yes! <laughs> oh. Now I wonder what did they throw in those trash bags in their trash cans that I didn't save. Because that can get, uh, oh. This is a Tonka, 1985. These were so cute and I love them. I was more of a fan of the Pound Puppies versus the Pound Kitties. Um, I just loved Pound Puppies. I still have mine. They even have a little collar for them. I think that's it. That's it for this bag. Oh no, yep, yep. So, Grandma Plush Spud and then the pound puppy. Let's see what's in bag number two. I went with the I went with the um, the lighter one. We'll save the heavier one for after. But we'll go with the same concept. Uh, this is America Wego. America Wego. I guess that's the brand. A lot of these somewhat remind me. They're not really the crane machine stuffed animals, but you know it's your classic like buy them at Lanco. Oh look at this guy. From the fire department. International toys and novelties. This would be like a um, crane machine kind of kind of little creature. I love you. This is Rosebud. This is by Russ. Okay, I see a yellow foot and a polka dot dress. That usually belongs to one character, and that's Minnie. Yes! <laughs> make that my thumbnail. <laughs> that's how you two people make thumbnails. They're like, oh, that'd be great. Oh, wow. So she is from, uh, she has a Disneyland, Walt Disney World tag. This is definitely an old, oh, I hope Mickey is in here. Please, please. Oh, how could they throw you out in the trash? That's so sad. We're gonna, a bunny rabbit. Oh, a little bear. Oh, is this the hush puppy? His name's Wuffy. This is Russ. His name is, it's by the brand Russ. His name is Wuffy. That's my, oh, football. Oh, it's from p -Berg. This football is from 1990, so p -Berg lost <laughs> to Becca High. They would throw these out during the game. That's fun. There's something, okay, we're gonna leave that for last. Ooh, he's a majestic lion. The BJ Toy Company in Penn Argel. BJ Toy Company in Penn Argel, Pennsylvania. If you stumble across my videos, and I know you're still in operation, I would love to have a tour of your factory. Especially if you might have vintage stuffed animals just hanging around, or old catalogs. Oh, 
perfect for Easter. He's from Smith Enterprises. So yeah, these are just all independent, you know, plush companies that would make plush, sell them in bulk to carnivals, fairs, um, crane machine, boardwalk, etc. Oh, it's in a bag. Some bunny loves you. <laughs> and another bunny. Oh, let's just have one of those. Oh my gosh. Now this brings back memories. Do you remember? Wait, we gotta, let's, let's do a focus. Well, focus. Do you remember making these on the computers? I remember going to a friend's house when I was little and they had a computer that printed these and you would make posters with like the turtle on it and just whatever. And it was the neatest thing. Okay, so bag number three, the last bag, it feels a bit heavy. Uh, just something to note is that a lot of um, fire departments, they actually do accept plush donations and they will bring, you know, a teddy bear, a doll um, to a scene if there are children there. So it's just, it's something to kind of give them comfort. So if you have, you know, plush in nice condition, not stained, you know, not um, broken or, you know, the stuffing is coming out and you want to donate them um, to something worth, you know, worthwhile versus I guess just taking it to Goodwill, which many people do not like, you can always check them out. Another pound puppy. Oh, we have two now. Oh. They're so cute. I probably should put on my gloves, but we're just gonna go rope. I know I saw, where was it? It says strawberry shortcake. I see the legs. There are pink shoes with the green and white stockings. Maybe the Cabbage Patch Girl's in another bag. We're gonna open her up. <gasps> it is! Oh, oh. <laughs> I love strawberry shortcake. I had a whole bedroom set. I still have it actually. And I'm not just talking about the, like your pillowcases and your comforter. I had a toy box, a vanity. I loved strawberry shortcake. I don't have this version. Oh, she's so cute. She's by Kenna, uh, Kenner. I have the strawberry, I still have it. Strawberry shortcake doll where when you squeezed her tummy, she would blow strawberry scented air. And the fun thing is she still blows strawberry scented air. Oh, I'm so glad we rescued you. This is great. Now I can't think of all the trash bags that I've missed. Who are you? Oh, you are really sad. You're an older guy. Animals of distinction. Oh, you poor thing. Um, a bear with goggles. <laughs> Grizzles. Oh, it's another Russ. They like the Russ brand. What's this big guy? He seems heavy. Oh my gosh, he's so sad. <gasps> it's a knickerbocker. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a knickerbocker. He's washable, it says. You think if I put him in the wash, he would still survive? I don't know if they meant that kind of washable. What if there's a stife in here? I mean, it really doesn't matter. This is so much fun being able to save these from the trash. I mean, we saved Strawberry Shortcake, Minnie Mouse, Pound Puppies, and Knickerbockers, and Spud McKenzie so far from the trash. What else is in here? I don't know. Where that Cabbage Patch doll went? It's a basket. With a baby, we saved a baby from the trash. Found baby in the trash. <laughs> If I use that as my title, you know how mad people would be. I mean, I did save a baby from the trash. I did find a baby in the trash. Technically, that's not clickbait. Oh, is this Moses? Nope, it's a little girl. Oh, man, look at that hair. <laughs> Moses. <gasps> Pink Panther! Holy moly, this is amazing. 
This is a Mighty Star. Mighty Star is a pretty good brand. Um, he even has his tag on there. Little guy. All right, oh, here's the cabbage. This is not cabbage. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> his name's Jelly. Oh. Oh, what the heck were these called? Kuza, that's what it is, a Kuza. Oh my God, if these people only knew how excited they made me by putting these in the trash and me coming along and saving them. Please, I hope I didn't miss out on other ones. A Kuza. I'm not sure what the market is for Kuza. Cabbage patches are like all over the board, strangely enough. And if you know how to clean them up, you could actually make some pretty decent money. Vintage Kuzas. Yeah, eighteen dollars, fifteen dollars, eight bucks, nine bucks, ten bucks. Oh, they're wow. This one's really cute. It has an eye patch, blonde blue eyes. Someone has it for a hundred four dollars. I wonder if he's in the bag. Oh, these adorable guys. Oh my gosh. Eighties in the trap. No way. Holy moly. Okay, we're not gonna open Miss Piggy's dress. Well, that didn't come out right. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. It says 1976 to 1978. What if Kermit is in there? Oh, please let Kermit be there. Let's look her up. Vintage. Vintage. Spelled with a V, not a B. Miss piggy puppet could be worth nothing yep <laughs> wow someone's just selling the head for 20 bucks or best offer 18 32 but still finding this is still fun and the fact that this is in the trash for free is even better oh look at oh uh, i don't know what money Money, 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 money. Probably get copyright on that. Whatever was in this piggy is not good. Oh, here's a cabbage patch. Oh, poor guy. He's already in his camo. He still has his diaper on. How fun is that? Sometimes their head would smell like powder. Renee, did you really just smell a doll's head that you took out of a trash bag? Why, well, yes, I did. Oh, he even has his shoes on yet, too. That's awesome. Now, I can't tell if this is an actual Cabbage Patch outfit. The shirt definitely is. I'm not sure about the army thing, but he's cute. I'm cheating. I'm peeking. Oh, there's another Cabbage Patch. Let's get this guy out. Oh, let's get this girly out. Oh, look at you. Oh, she has her diaper on. The Cabbage Patch diapers. I remember buying them. She's a cutie. You would get their birth certificate and all that stuff. I had the board game, which was, it seemed very complicated. Is this Paddington? It looks like it's supposed to be Paddington. I think I got one like this at the, an auction with Taco Stacks a little bit ago. Little Woodchuck, it's, his name's Woody. This is amazing. Who are you? Why does this look like someone from a cartoon? But I don't remember this cartoon. If you know what this would be from, let me know. Oh, look at her. Oh man, what if there had been a Blythe doll in here? If you don't know about Blythe dolls, you're, you're in for a big surprise with that. If you ever find one of those at an estate sale, this is K, I can't read that. It's from Taiwan, 1976. Oh, another cabbage patch. Who could throw their cabbage patches out? Oh, you are adorable. I think I had one like you. I think my favorite cabbage patch was a later cabbage patch in the later 90s and he had red hair. I liked him, but they all have their um, uh, diapers on. And in pretty good condition for being in a trash bag. Oh my 
my gosh. You poor thing. Easter pets. Is there a year? Oh, Easter Unlimited, New York, New York. Oh, we have Rudolph. We saved Rudolph from the trap. Oh, this is Roscoe. The raspberry version. He's cute with a little side eye. Don't give me the side eye, I saved you. Oh, <laughs> first I thought that was the head. I was like, what is this, the girl from Beetlejuice? We have this little guy, we have a comb. Who is this for? I don't know. Is this like Garfield's uncle? Or is this a rip-off Garfield? This is from the Allentown Toy Manufacturing Company in Allentown, Pennsylvania. It has all new materials consisting of shredded clip it clippings. This is like the knockoff uncle of Garfield. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're getting down. Oh, I think there's only one left. Oh no, I feel a little something else. Oh no, I felt a crayon. Nope, I think that is all my phone. Nope, there's one little thing in the bottom. It's eluding me. The girl's head. Well. Three trash bags of vintage stuffed animals from the 80s and I still have two bags and a box to go through. I believe that's all like Christmas. I don't think there's plush mixed in, but you never know. But we have saved so many great 1980s toys from the trash, from Garfield's uncle <laughs> to Rudolph's brother Roscoe to Mr. Pink Panther, Paddington, Kuza, numerous Cabbage Patch dolls, mini pound puppies, and Miss Strawberry Shortcake. Oh man. Uh, I don't want to think about what I missed. Because if they saved all of these, what if there were like 1980s shirts? or books or toys. Can't think about it. Cannot think about it. We saved all these things from the trash and it was so much fun. And we still have two bags and a box to go through of what looks to be Christmas stuff. So stay tuned for that. That'll be the next episode. And um, I'm just going to have to really keep an eye out on this house again. I have been, but perhaps um, take a, a, another peek, but not go into the trash can. Maybe. We'll have to see. I might have to break that rule. Because <laughs> we need to save these things. Right, Strawberry? Yes, I know. I know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a really fun trash bag adventure. My favorite kind. So I'm going to get these guys. Um, uh, maybe rebagged, cleaned. And um, some will be going to the flea market. And some probably are going to have to stay with me. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give that thumbs up button. Right, Strawberry Shortcake? She's even saying, give the thumbs up button. I forget what her voice sounded like. She was such a good cartoon. Such a good cartoon. Such a good franchise. Now she's all fancy and like they live in normal sized places. Like that's not what it was about. Not what it was about at all. Anyway, yes. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I will see you all next time for the next trash adventure.